you've decided on the rebalancing of the budget bills, what's next for the legislature? Will it return to a stalemate, Christine? What do you think? You know, I I have to I have to hope that that uh, Representative Smith Warner's listing of the issues that we still have ahead of us were not issues that she believes are bipartisan or supported by Oregonians. The challenge that we have right now is we need to get kids back in the we need to get kids back in the classroom. Uh, we have we have students that are facing real mental health challenges, real dire needs in their home life to be able to re-engage again, and and some of those challenges I'm I'm afraid are not getting the full attention that they deserve right now, and instead we're going down a misguided approach that that in fact has unintended consequences where we take law-abiding citizens and we turn them into criminals and we take the criminals with the repeal of ballot measure 11 and we let them back off on the street and we take criminals while they're in prison and we say we want you to vote and when you get out of prison we want you to be able to teach in our classrooms again all of those are proposals from the democrats that i actually don't believe make our communities safer i actually don't believe that those are the values of oregonians right now when they are still facing pandemic uh, impacts when they're still facing recovery from wildfires and the ice storms and all the losses that have been stubborn in our state right now where we just don't have everybody back to work which means our families aren't as stable as they need to be so there really are issues that we need to work together on that we need to better understand where Oregonians want us to prioritize our efforts and our time and and that really is how we're going to be able to move forward in this legislative session the budget is our number one job we've got to balance the budget and I ha and I'm confident that we can do that in a way that's bipartisan